Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Netshook Arts. Today's topic, beer review. Once again, from my local brewers, Progress Brewing, located a couple miles down the road in El Monte, California. Today, cracking my growler full of Remmer. Remmer, Remmer, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, it's got one of those O's with a dash through it, like European style, Belgian style. Oh, I gotta get something to cut this open. Hang on a second. Ah, thought my thought my fingernail would do the trick to crack that seal, but nope. Okay, there we go. Painter's palette. We're in Netshook Art Studio with work in progress in the background there. Here we go. Rammer, Rammer, Rumor, eight point one IPA. Let's check this out, shall we? Here we go, popping the growler for the first time. Just picked it up yesterday, here we go. Comes out with a little bit of foamy head right out the bat. Here we go, there's the pour. Golden yellow, it might be a bit dark because of the lighting here in Netshukart Studios but it's golden yellow, very activated. Check out those bubbles rushing to the top, bubbles cleaning the glass and rushing to the top. Decent head, let's have a smell. Mmm, smells fresh, crisp, hoppy IPA, not overly hoppy, but you know it's there. Here we go, let's have a taste. Oh. A little bit of veil clinging to the glass. We'll see how that holds up as we go through the drink session. First impressions. Smooth citrusy hops. Mm. Very little to no aftertaste. Beer's pretty much gone right after you have that drink. Let's have another sip. Fresh, crisp, all that activation of those bubbles, it um, hits the top uh, palate of the mouth, sides of the tongue getting coated with the beer on the second drink, rear of the tongue staying activated. The beer is um, really lively on the drink. <clears throat> and then the interesting part about it is at first you don't get an initial... Um, uh, an initial aftertaste, but after that second drink, yes, it's starting to build. <clears throat> I'm going to quickly take one more. Check this out. Science. <laughs> Look at that. The frothiness of the head is kind of bubbling up and out of the growler. I don't usually get that effect. I don't know if that's good or bad. I'll take it. The beer is certainly activated, right? The um, aftertaste lingers around that palate and it lingers around the rear of the tongue, but not in a bad way. I've talked about that before with, um, with beers where the aftertaste lingers. When it's really sweet, that's not to my likings because then it just kind of builds and you don't want to drink anymore because it keeps getting sweeter and sweeter on the tongue. But this one is really just that hops flavor. Now, if you like an, uh, an IPA that's gonna stay hoppy, but not super bold, this is a good one for that slightly lingering aftertaste because it doesn't overpower. It doesn't build too much as you continue drinking. It gives you a very nice pop of hops in the rear of the mouth, front end of the tongue, pretty much left alone, but it gives you a nice burst of hops, but not overpowering. It's an 8.1, so this is not a children's beer. A couple of these glasses are gonna leave you feeling pretty good. <clears throat> Hopefully, after a couple of these glasses, I won't be burning the burgers on the grill. <laughs> Let's give this a, uh, mm, 
Let's give this a 4.5 out of five spring training games because today was the first spring training baseball game. So hooray for baseball being back. Hooray for progress brewing. 4.5. Uh, it's an enjoyable beer. It you know it doesn't rock the top of the charts, but it's pretty good. It's not bad at all. Um, Four point five, and uh, boy, here I come back for another sip. So I enjoy it. Good beer. Thanks a lot, Progress, for continuing to bring the quality stuff. Remember, support your local brewers. Progress Brewing right out here in Salto Monte. And we'll see you next time. Peace.